Oh, good morning, rain and gloomy weather. Good morning, Buffy. Can we go outside? Yeah. You guys know what's going to happen, don't you? Watch this. And she goes out and says, oh my gosh, it's raining. I want to come right back in. Holy cow, do you guys see this? The pine needles, look at that. Yes, we certainly had a, uh, a blustery night overnight. I've been listening to the rain this morning. It's just been like, and then I'll stop. And then I'll stop. It's been a very interesting evening. Morning, actually. It's been an interesting morning. And we're gonna keep it interesting by going and getting a snowflake and also um, some nylon wire ties at Lowe's. I need a lot of them. Big projects big things in the future. When opportunity knocks, you take it. Yes, the trees are blowing. It's starting to mist a little bit, but it's not raining. So I'm walking the hill. Well, what can I say? It is that time of the year. It is haunt time, meaning frequent trips to Lowe's. Multiple trips to Lowe's. Nylon wire ties, or zap straps, or zip ties, whatever you want to call them. Wow, those leaves are falling and blowing around. My goodness, look at that. <laughs> uh, it's definitely a blustery day. We're actually supposed to have some kind of a storm in the next uh, couple days. So that should be really interesting. But yeah, all the, uh, the red from the trees are coming down. The yellow from the trees are coming down. The green are still hanging on. Those green leaves are like, no, you will not rob my chlorophyll. I want to stay on this tree forever. But, you know, eventually they're all going to come down. And then we will have that hazy shade of that W word that has an I and a T and an N and an E in it. And it sounds like it rhymes with uh, Pinter. <laughs> we are uh, done with being out and about. And uh, we're about ready to get back home and got to go to a job and do a clutch today. All in one day. So Troy's procrastinating just a little bit this morning because I really don't want to do it, especially in this weather. But... It has to get done. Four hours later. Two hours later. One hour later. Oh my gosh, all day working. I just got through showering because I had like clutch all over me. In case you guys don't know about automotive, in order to replace a clutch, you must remove the transmission. And vehicles that have over 200,000 miles on them are usually greasy turd balls. <laughs> so I was covered head to toe, I had clutch stuff in my face and if you've ever experienced like clutch stuff it doesn't come off it does not easily come off so i probably still have some on me somewhere but i tried to shower the best i could um, anyway uh, neither here nor there there we go uh tut uncommon king tut is repaired back together so we will be putting him in the haunt tonight hopefully fingers crossed it's not dark yet so that's a good thing white balance white balance or not we'll just do blue balance all right Whatever. <laughs> so I got my coffee. I'm not done yet. I have to go back out. So we'll see what happens for the rest of the night. Hopefully I'll have more material for you later. Maybe I want to drink the coffee, not just hold it here. I can't remember who it was, but somebody asked me recently within the last month of why I always vlog from my car, truck, SUV, vehicle. <laughs> Because I'm always here, I'm always in it. Except for when I'm working, and then I'm working. So that's the reason for that. Anyway, um, it is, as you can see, it is getting dark. The camera is probably making it look a little bit lighter than what it actually is. Um, I am, where am I going? Oh yeah, I'm going to the parts store, which does not interest uh, you guys, but I'm also gonna be going to Safeway, which also doesn't interest you guys, but I'm going to be getting some bacon. And I'm pretty sure that all of us love bacon. So the fact that I'm going to get some is awesome. And I've, I've made the switch on bacon. I now get a bacon that is uncured so that it doesn't have any of that, what, what is it, monosodium glutinate or whatever, no. Nitrites, nitrites, because those are bad and they cause like dementia and, and Alzheimer's. And you know, natural is better. So just have to make sure you watch the temperature and keep it refrigerated. Um, because nitrites are responsible for keeping the pink in meat, the color, 
and they're also responsible for not having uh, like organisms breeding there. Notice I said organisms and not orgasms because you want to make sure you don't have orgasms in your meat. That's oh god, never mind. Cut that out. That was way too pornographic. I gotta make sure that uh, the YouTube snowflake police don't uh, don't knock on my door. Simply because I need to show everywhere I go. We're now at Albertsons. And they still have a bunch of pumpkins left. Look at that. Wow. Not very many. Oh, look, warty pumpkins. I love those. It's eggnog. Oh my gosh. That has me so happy right now. I freaking love eggnog. That's what I'm talking about. I put the fog machine in a different spot so it actually blows it out across the yard. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. In fact, since it's all automatic and I fill the fog machine every night, uh, this right here I saw from the end of the block. I could tell because the street light out there was clouded. That's cool. Alrighty, uh, let's do some haunt stuff. Wait, before we do haunt stuff, we need to fix this plug. <laughs> um, I don't know who did it. I don't think I did it, but uh, it was touching in there, so it was uh, throwing the breaker. No bueno. So I need, uh, what do I need? Wire cutters, we're gonna cut the wires and do everything fresh. I was just about ready to move King Tut into the haunt, and guess what? Uh, he had a little bird problem. This fell off. <laughs> so, uh, so now we need to put that back on. I would put it back on, glue it, and then put him back out in the haunt, but it won't cure overnight, so. He's not going to go into the haunt again tonight. But we will glue this, so he will be one step closer. Those lights are supposed to be purple. However, they kind of look more red to me. We've got the orange ones right next to them, and we've got plenty. So I think I'm just going to do orange lights on the tree. I do have this, uh, these are supposed to be candy corn lights. They're orange and yellow. Um, we'll see, but uh, I'm at least going to do the orange. I'm not sure if I want to do the purple on the tree, because they're more red. And red lights on a Halloween tree, unless they're blood lights. No bueno. There you go. The haunt tree is, why is it bare right there? I just noticed that. I turned the lights off. It's like, wait a second. Why are there no lights right here? There. Take that. Okay. So now uh, the haunt tree is there. It's not done, but the lights are on it. All right. So I've added a few more touches. We have uh, orange garland and some uh, purple garland. There's a hand in the tree. There's this guy here. So we'll go and we'll probably do ornaments like possibly tomorrow. Oh, and I put this guy here. That's one of Angie's awesome artwork pieces. What? Uh, what? What? Oh, hi. <laughs> I was saying that this is one of your awesome artwork pieces. Oh. Yeah. It's an artwork piece, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I thought everybody could say hi to you and you could say hi to them too. <laughs> <sighs> Alright guys, so that's it out here. I totally got caught up in trying to uh, formulate a playlist for the Halloween party. So there's so much more than just creating the atmosphere and the building and all that. And there's the, the music and then there's also the food to where I'm... I don't know if I'm going to do like a jello mold brain this year or if I'm going to do kitty litter cake again. I'm sure the brain mold would probably be easier, um, but not a lot of people eat that because it really looks like a brain. First comment of the night, Cap Zone 2. I still won. I see how you say won instead of win. Tommy D vlogs first because I have post notifications on. Well, sir, you were actually second, but you were very, very close. Uh, oh, Halloween home off. That's me. I was the first like. I was the first like on my own video. Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, Jolson, I still win. Joseph Blau, Mary Roberts saved to King Tut on Pinterest. Oh, thank you guys. Uh, yeah, Joseph Blau, thank you for um, listing all that stuff for uh, King Tut's uh, thing there. Greta Boss, may I ask what you did with the dollhouse? It's actually in Phoenix's closet right now. Not much has been done because I have to get my own house in order before I start worrying about a haunted dollhouse. I don't think Angie knows about that. She would do really well with that. I actually, in the, in the, the dollhouse, I want to make a mini drop panel that would be activated with an electromagnet. Just like a tiny drop panel. 
Ooh, if I did that as a miniature, I could probably, like, s like sell that. Canadian Trucker Gal, cherish the memories you had with the Bronco. Sorry to hear about your late stepson. I have great memories of my old Mustang that I traded two years ago for a 50th anniversary Stang. Hope to keep this one forever and all the great memories it will bring. Yes, cars, you know, some people feel that cars are kind of like people or pets. You guys make so many memories with the car. You bring it on trips. You drive it to work. It left you stranded on the side of the road. It almost got you out of that collision or that, you know, it's, it's so many different things that sometimes when you lose a car, it's almost like you're losing a pet or a person. LG Mike 1204 Troy, you can fix that lens with uh, pop rivets. Okay, um, I'm not sure there's be enough material there, but I'll take a, a second look at it. Tark said, I watch from work too. I'm just gonna work through the on, guys. I'm gonna work through the on. Um, I watch from work too, but since I am the boss, I don't have to worry about getting in trouble. Oh, that's so funny. Brandon Miller, with you being at the storage unit, I was reminded of when it was broken into. Did you ever find out who did it or get anything back? Yes, I did get some of the stuff back. Not all the stuff. We never f officially found out who did it, but I know who did it. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty certain. Emerald Gyps Gypsy Heart, do Coda and Buffy have boy-girlfriend withdrawals? Yes, they do. They do. Um, remind me when Angie comes back this uh, weekend after this next, and, um, and and we'll go over those because they're they're kind of they're kind of substantial. Wolf Spain Hollow Pat, uh, your uh, cano can canopic jars. I haven't put them out in the haunt yet, but they're going to go out there also. Um, I'm not sure if you saw me film the stuff that's out there. Um, they're still in the back room. Uh, as an artifact of antiquity, an antiquity. Sorry, big words confuse me. As an artifact of antiquity, it's allowed to have cracks. Just makes it look more authentic. Yes, I highly agree with you. Carrie Ann Olson, Angie has the same type of ice maker I do. Well, that's cool. Baldy Jack, Troy cuts his wood. That's going to hurt. No comment. Bob Ross, I guess you put the final nail in the sarcophagus. Oh, that's so funny. And the final comment of the night, Ruth Fry, good morning, Troy. Buffy said, who me eat that not me. Okay, I got the first part, didn't understand the second part, but good morning, because it is morning right now. It is 1.55 a.m. So with that, I'm going to go to bed. Happy haunting, guys. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share this video everywhere. And um, yeah, we'll see you uh, in the morning with more um, fun stuff, more haunt stuff tomorrow, I'm sure. Bye. Ow. Oh, God damn it. I seriously just did that. <laughs>